don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us, but you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. How could you hide this from me, Alfred? For all these years... What would you have me do? You were a child! I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I... I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. But the truth is... Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this, but... The truth is all here. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then, they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? Because he definitely could have did. God, Alfred. He definitely could have did. Thank you. I won't let you down again. I know he's not a op. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Search the alley to remember the past. I want him standing here, right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I ain't gonna say nothing. On second thought, perhaps I don't want to know. Yeah, yeah. I know you don't want to know. He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Oh, he gone. So he can't even he can't even give me my give me my ones. I can't even squabble up with man. He gone. Let's see what's around here. Anything we missing here? All right. The theater. We were leaving the theater. My folks got jammed up. He just 
just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Stay back! Take me away from you are! That's the person. Just citizens. He told me you had it coming. You, you don't have to do this. That man out the way, the gangster way. Yeah, they did. My man's dirty, but. Dang. Man's just chilling there. Fascinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Uh oh. We know please Did about see Falcone cut like up. This? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm always here for you. He this could land me. us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time you disappeared behind closed doors with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. But everything's been a little busy. Sorry, Harvey, I was going to tell you. Well, tell me what? 
Your friend here gave us a case that'll put Balcony away for life. A catalog of his entire criminal empire. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. Shawty looking, Shawty looking the at some money right now, huh? He's lucky he didn't get roughed up She's more. trying to come up. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Whoever he is behind the mask, Batman's a hero to me. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you got to say. We'll be out here. All right. Let's let's go face to face. Oh, that brother on that machine. The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the door. Convince me, then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? I don't know if I should do that. Ah, oh, I should call a nurse in, bro. Ease the pain or hurt him? Let me not hurt him. Let me not hurt him. He's still got information we need to know. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. Yeah, that's the only reason why he's How still much alive. of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. But you really think I hired Jill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. 
But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the oh! They're waiting for you in hell! What? The bastard had to die. <sighs> I was just about to get my answers! Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets you in or out! Go! Go! I was just about to get my answers, bruh! She got that, a hit of that brain agent stuff. What the we heck? Deep shit. <sighs> I bought us some time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. Just doesn't make any sense. She popped that she man away. She never do away. anything to hurt the department. Right when we was about to get what <sighs> we needed, Falcone's bro. Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. Oh. Now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. Uh, the simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts. Like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Oh, yeah. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. Is she good now? Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God! I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. It's definitely that brain stuff. Skin to skin. Her veins. Still visible beneath her skin. Neck. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. She's waking up. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? She don't remember it. Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Nothing. Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talked big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. 
I had to. No matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't. They were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice. It was saying something about revolution. It couldn't have been Penguin. Pot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. How is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Shorty always popping up. Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you she need to give me something I can use. Pressing me, bro. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. You're fishing. You don't have anything. Now if you'll excuse me. You should talk to me, Bruce. This is coming out whether you stonewall me or not. I don't know if I can trust her yet, bruh. I don't know. She's she's very just persistent though. Like I I don't know. As soon as I say something, she's gonna go off with it. I don't know if I want that. Either Cobblepot drugged Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found the dogs. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Dock sample. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. Match verify. Uh oh. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters. 
and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. Considering the amount they stole from Falcone, they could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. A skyline club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Let's go. Let's go. Skyline Club. There he goes. Whoa, who's that big blue brother? Check out this office. Where is I don't know? Please, this is right. You can help me. King. Let him go. Batman! It's about time! You kill a crime, boss. You'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said let him go. You hear that, Rowling? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, Yo. have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself! Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out! Believe me, I know. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. But it's bloody well satisfying, isn't it? As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. 
how's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took that money from people that couldn't fight back. Here's the thing, I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. Huh. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a cat. Some big blue to man, with. bro. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes. Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> <sighs> It's time to fight, baby boy. It's time to fight, baby boy. Yo. Gonna have to try harder than this. This man don't feel pain or something? He probably gone. Yeah, he would be a fool to stay there. Yeah, he gone. Yo, that man was built like a tree. Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. raided his house. Sorry. Yes. Man. Are you talking about me? You lost? Because I don't have time for tours. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Do you know Selena Kyle? There are men after her. Uh-huh. When aren't there? Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? Oh, it Lord. is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Are you hating on me because I'm lit? Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. That's why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. 
He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswa... Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. <laughs> you want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selina. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? After all, I'm not really an all-work-and-no-play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. I'm sorry, why, why are we talking about Harvey? He's your friend, isn't he? Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. You and I... They're here. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. We're not going to get out of this untouched. Beat it. We're here for her. You care about your own skin? Yo, get the hell out. Gentlemen, please, sit. Have a drink. Let's work this out like civilized people. We're done talking. Um. Here we go. Here we go. What? Let me get that from you, dog. Bop. Oh yeah. It's time. To, oh yeah. It's time to get hectic in here. <laughs> we didn't clean the whole bar out. <laughs> Y'all want more? Oh! Oh! We just suplex a man through a table. Here, hold that. Woo! Not done yet. They should have brought more help. They should have brought more help. I ain't gonna lie. Back to back. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Let's go. Oh my, bro. We getting into it. Come on. Yo, they don't stand a chance. They don't stand a chance. At least nobody upped the pole on us yet. They was actually trying to fight. You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. She's starting to dig me now. Come on, this way. Let's go. Check the other side. Are we alone? Yeah, we're, we're alone. I 
Let me back up. Oof. We should go. Let me back up. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Just stay out of trouble. <laughs> now, where's the fun in that? You shouldn't trust me, you know. Yeah, she on my body, bro. She on my body, bro. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor mm -hmm. Hill? The last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? Looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. Yup. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handled Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Hmm. That's Batman. Oh, Bruce. I think we go as Batman here. I think we go as Batman. Going as Batman is the sure bet. I don't want to get caught up in anything else. He already, like, Harvey girl already on my body. I, I don't need this politics stuff to go wrong too. No one got to even know I'm here. Let's go. Batman has the public trust after taking down Falcone. Try not to throw it away by going overboard on Hill. Battering the mayor is not a good option. I got it, Alfred. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. Let's see what we can get out of this guy. Never, you incompetent! Dents up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes or I'm going to your pay. Who's there? You just hit a whole EMP Never. on you, boy. Is that you? You know who I am. It's time we finally met. Ah! This man gonna have a heart attack. Batman? What are you doing here? You know who Penguin is. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. Do you hear me? Patience isn't my strong suit, uh, Mayor. Uh, Talk! I'm talking! You're not listening! I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne, there's the real problem. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies, his status, his fortune. You really believe that? I witnessed firsthand the atrocities of his family, and he's the one who profited. <gasps> Man, it's running. Security! Pick up, goddammit! Security! I'm... <laughs> what you doing? Don't kill me! I've done nothing wrong! Why come to you? Because I knew about Arkham Asylum, and what was done to those poor people. Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. 
Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. Until Thomas locked them up. Something this big couldn't have been hidden. There'd be records. <sighs> with enough money, you can make anything, or anyone, disappear. <sighs> I didn't dare speak up. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. <laughs> no. Please. Don't. Oh, no. <laughs> They'll have to go through me first. If I hadn't given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck at the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally. About damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! Just like that, go. I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father. It must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Uh, indeed. I'm just as frustrated as you are. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. We ain't even have to put no paws on him. I wonder what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Mm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed. First by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. <sighs> See what we find. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the... See if we can find anything here. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at what they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there now. Let's go. Hop in that whip. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's, it's not a... Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kind of oh, crazy. Oh. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good optic. Ouch, Harvey. Talk about a sucker punch. 
what with the allegations in the press and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. Mm. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. He's about to trash me, huh? Right, but... Dang, bruh. Batman! Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. Just so we're clear. You and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. Most of the GCPD already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. You're lucky I'm on your side. That may be true, but I can't ally with a violent thug. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. Uh, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. <laughs> None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Yeah, now aren't you glad I'm here? Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. Let's go. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate, debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, yes, a massive vigilante loose on our streets. The candidates? Here we go. What up? At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon. We found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, God damn so sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have there guessed, he there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Oh! oh! Man's is the Joker for real. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, I don't like their chances. Uh, they just didn't have a head for the 
issues. Casualties are inevitable. It's only a question of how many. Inspiring. You really know how to pep a girl up. <gasps> You'll do. Oh, we're gonna save Jordy. <laughs> Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Oh, Thank you wait. for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly. On the left. Uh -huh. So, Alright, let's figure out how we're gonna do this. And on the right, always smiling to your face, our despicable DA, Harvey Dent! Camera stand, TV. Whatever your name is. Call me Penguin. Cut woman. I'll do this. With him. I'll do that with him. And I need I need Catwoman to go attack somebody else. First. And then I need questions. Ask them questions. I need Catwoman to get him. The subject on everyone's mind is the new way mental health facility. It's it's a function being in state of the art of mental health and care. Hospital they will offer treatment. If you say so. Unfortunate of Gotham says it's And then this dude. I gotta link this with you. Link. Alright, hopefully this works. I'm hoping this works. Let's go. Gotta trust the process, baby. Let's go. Yo, y'all stay quiet now. Y'all stay quiet. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My gentlemen, brothers and sisters of color, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade. Who is this? The corruption that's moving your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Did you ever meet the guy on the screen? Nope. Smart to let someone else do your dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to Go on, you. love. You know what to do. They better start tweaking out. Tell them what you really think about the city you pretend to love. Everybody in Gotham saw that moderator get shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the pool. That big blue man, we we gotta throw hands with him last, bro. Gotham is flawed. That city isn't. It's flawed. Beautiful. We're out of time, Batman. The brass is going nuts with those two drunks on stage. He's not. Politicians. And what about the corrupt elite? 
The men whose fortunes are built on corpses. Men like your friend, Bruce Wayne. You're as bad as he is. Happy to look away from what you don't want to see. Roll the tape! What's going on here? Oh, that's his mama thing. Dad. I thought your father was dead. Subject 9, Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Oh, wow. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we're friends. Our boys played together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Wow. And that's the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. With the proof? <laughs> now you know. Now you will see. Come on. Go. Why are you kicking the crap out of here? Oh, big blue man. <laughs> That brother strong. Please, I made an end. You could never. That's all. Sweaty, not me. Oh yeah. Come on. I took out Thomas Wayne. That, that, that. Oh. That was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it. So it was him. That won't bring back my poor old mum. So this is for her. Why don't you kill anyone else? Go on. Wait your turn, Dent. Oh. Man, this went crazy. Shooting on lightning bolt. Where's your mate, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter, and you didn't yes. even turn up. <laughs> Batman! The revolution's already started. It's too late to join. Let Dent go. And what if I don't? I'll crush every bone in your body. I knew you'd say something like that. Oh my. Oh my gosh. I gotta save Harvey, bro. Yeah. Mr. Dent. Oh! Thanks. Freeze! I said freeze! Hold your fire, damn it! Where's the maniac in the mask? He got away again. Oh, Lord. What's about to go down? City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. 
Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne? Lieutenant? He's lucky, you know. Could have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. He's the only candidate standing. So, I mean, does that mean he automatically went? No, but look for the blood. There! <sighs> Come on! She kind of got far! Lawyers representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. Next time on Batman, the Let's Telltale see. series. Let's see. What's happening next? Batman saved me, but I know this isn't over. Who are these people, Bruce? Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding! Not for anyone. But don't worry. Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce! Bruce! Oh, wow. It's about to get real hectic in this next episode, man. Real hectic. Well, we are done with episode two. All right. Tune in next time so we can start this episode three. <laughs> oh, man.